We're going to begin tonight with some disturbing new details about the death of 20 year old Alexa Bartel. Today's arrest documents are giving insight into what the suspects did before, during and after they allegedly threw a rock at her car, killing her. Now, three 18 year olds have been arrested for the murder. Denver 7's Danielle Croyder is live in the studio tonight. And Danielle, those arrest papers say that the investigators use cell phone towers, surveillance cameras and DNA on rocks to make these arrests. Yeah, it was a massive investigation that also included a few witnesses. One reportedly told investigators that one of the suspects, quote, frequently participates in destructive behavior. He likes causing chaos. That's what a friend of one of the rock throwing suspects allegedly had to say about them. That's according to newly released arrest documents for these three 18 year olds now facing murder charges. The papers detail the heartbreaking moments when 20 year old Alexa Bartel was killed. She was reportedly on the phone with a friend who eventually tracked Bartel's phone to the crash site after the line suddenly went quiet. Investigators say she had a serious head injury likely caused by an object coming through the window and hitting her. According to the affidavit, the three suspects were at this Walmart earlier collecting rocks. A friend who was there reportedly asked to go home because he didn't want to be involved in anything they were up to. The arrest papers claim, in addition to Bartell, the suspects threw rocks at several other drivers that night, causing damage and injuries. If it was a second earlier, it would have come out my window and hit me. Uh, either square in the chest or maybe even the face. Nathan Tipton was one of those drivers. He says he feels fortunate to be alive after his car was hit. It's very heart wrenching and uh, no family should have to go through it. According to arrest papers, after the suspects saw Bartel's car go off the road, they actually turned around. The suspect, Zachary Kwok, allegedly took a photo of the aftermath. The affidavit says he told investigators it was to keep as a memento. All three suspects are due back in court on Wednesday, and of course, we'll be keeping you updated. Tell you what, the more we know, the uglier this thing it's gets. also appalling. Thank you, Danielle.